This is Twin Solar System Talk with Samuel Hoffman and Rebecca Benningfield. If you want to do a show, the, my favorite number one topic would be how you found all of this. Because how, you know, it was demonstrated and how we spent time together and mm-hmm. I, you know, corrected you repeatedly, even though mm-hmm. I felt terribly uncomfortable doing so. But you did pick it up better than anybody else. And then all of a sudden it dawned on you, and obviously you see the planet, so how can we argue with it, right? Right. That's true. Yeah. And, and, yeah. I know. I mean, and once I, you see them, you can't you can't deny it. You can't. I mean, you can't. And I sit here to this day going, how oh, don't you see these? Oh, my God. Yeah. It's right there. I know. How but do you see this? I know that because for years I, I didn't see it, but it's only because... They're much, much bigger than you imagine them being. Right, bigger than you expect. It's hard to. You know, I've had the grand luxury of watching them come in since they were tiny. Sure. And I, you know, I've watched all the stages, and you know, we go all the way back on, you know, and all the older pictures. Unfortunately, I've lost what you know all those other computers, and I've lost, uh, you know, two thousand, what, two thousand eleven, all the way through about two thousand sixteen. So I lost over, you know, five years where the pictures were, we were first discovering. And then, you know, when, when, when the onset of AT2 came in after the larger bodies, and, you know, it was still questionable about what, what we were seeing, these dark things on the either side of the star. When we were watching from Antarctica, and you was like, oh, it's got to be lens flare. It's got to be something off the ice or, or southern pole conditions. But over time, you know, it always proved through. And you, of course, have learned what is a lens flare and what is not a lens flare. Usually, you know, I mean, right. Or, you know, I never shoot, you know, pictures through glass, yes. and you'll end up with a glass double and all these other things. And, and over all of this time after, you know, the live camps, which have been unfortunately denied from us in present-day science, over time, everything was removed. We used yeah. to have links yeah. to all the satellites and stuff, drive, you know, direct live link could type it in and okay this is you know we're looking at you know alaska the aleutian islands pacific oceans on on radar net and and now you can't do any of that sure and they've gone to all these cartoonist illustrations that are dramatizing the onset of what we are supposed to watch which can be all manipulated which is being all manipulated and yeah. the ISS and everything else, and you know why we're watching old live feed off the ISS because they can't show us the planets are right freaking next to us. You know. Yeah, you I've noticed that with the Mexico webcams. I mean, they've gotten fewer and fewer, you know, quality uh, images. You know that are, if anything, you can maybe watch it live. You know, but they don't record it to where you can get a copy of it. Right, you know. it's all been, it's and, all been changed. Over yeah, time. the only way I could get a live, like if it was live, I used to take, I used to sit there and take, oh, like nine hundred screenshots. It would take, right, it right. took me three hours, you know, to take all these screenshots, right, right. and then I'd put them all together into a video. But it's been a while since right, I've done that. Right, it's all gone now. Yeah. Um, yesterday, Montana Skywatcher hit uh, thirteen years. April That's 9th awesome. Was, yeah, I saw that. And, and I included, you know, you and us, and you know, because we're right. all sister sites and stuff. And, and the info is that 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 many years old. So we, you know, we have 13 years of documentation, which is three years past a doctorate of scientific study. Mm-hmm. So you know, I mean, if I chuckle at it. Anyone mm-hmm. that wants to argue that we're incorrect is like, okay, Wilbur, <laughs> you know. No, I know because yeah. most people. I mean, there are some out there, though, that spend a lot of time studying. You know, there's they're out there, but most people don't spend more than a few minutes glancing over right. everything, and they decide nor, within a few minutes whether it's real or it's not. You know, they don't nor, really study. Nor do they look the past what's behind the center of the picture. We'll see, you know, this illumination or cloud or whatever in dead center of the picture, and they don't look at anything beyond that. Which is, mm-hmm. you know, my, my big thing about what's been always about the chemtrails. Mm-hmm. If you're looking at the chemtrails, you're not going to see anything behind it. Two Yuri photos when close pass happened and these were huge, massive yeah. lightning storms that occurred. And nobody, everybody saw the lightning and the little asteroids in front causing the lightning, but nobody saw the absolute right. undefined, uh, 
unarguable planet of Atu standing there and Yuri standing mm-hmm, behind mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, let's talk about accuracy ratio. I'm never wrong, which is weird. Express the fact that I see what's going on. Right. And, and we, you know, we've documented this for, you know, as of yesterday was 13 years. But really, like you, you said, know, that know, many years have gone by, you know, and wow, you being yeah, no this, this accurate about so many different things. I mean, that's what told me that you really are connected with all of this. Like, not just want to be, like, but you really are. Yeah. Because well, nobody it. else could do that. Nobody. Nobody. Because, I mean, you got all the little lines, the dots, the street. I mean, you draw it in. The little it's asteroid there. sneaking on the, on the bottom of the planet. Versus, I know. You know the light illuminate. And that, that's what blows me away to this day, too, is the accuracy ratio, which is, you know, also, right. you know, and when we go back to the alien abduction crazy stuff that barely anyone would believe. And yeah. when they told me that I was going to be the guy that did this, you know, what, you know, back in the 80s, 1983, 84, and here I am today. Yeah, that's so surreal. And, and all I did was start this up because I wanted to have accurate dailies. Because I, I wasn't, you know, everything we were getting off the internet was two weeks old, or in this case, what YouTube is talking now is almost two years to get recent information in, in major form, correct? I've done the homework, I've shared it. It's all connected, it all fits. Well, you know, Velikovsky wrote a book, Worlds in Collision, and he was horrendously discounted. But he didn't actually focus on the important part of the electrical universe issue where the where the planetary bodies would discharge between each other, including the object cluster group, which is like a capacitor or uh, an electron cluster, where the you know, the close passes are reacting to our planet with this electrical discharge and the ion um, uh, electron superhighways between the larger bodies and all of that. Right. And he didn't he didn't he didn't expunge on it well enough for his, his theories to actually gather the idea of people around him to understand it. He, he spoke in a larger realm within the solar system, but not the universe, like the electrical universe and how Einstein believed it were gravitational, and so did, um, um, can't think of his, uh, Newton. Um, Einstein and Newton believed that it was local and gravitational when in fact we're electrical and we're a compound. Which it's not just rocks in space doing this, that, and the other thing. It's actually a connected group of two groups joined with the the back, you know, the big gas giant holding two stars, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, for anyone that wants to understand that, they have to actually do some of the homework. You can't just hand it. Like, it took you how long to understand that? Years. Yeah, years. Like, six years now. Yeah, it's confusing because there's so much... And I've always really seriously, drastically tried to only talk about what our site and your site have proven over time. I'm not going to, mm-hmm. you know, and, uh, well, you know, we have this conspiracy theory that says this purple shit just blew by. Well, no, we only talk about stuff that we've had time proven, you and me, and uh, other sites, um, Alaska, Skywatcher, and, of course, Planet X Hunter, and Andy Pohl in the U.K., and uh, Petty uh, over in Hungary and yeah. and uh, folks up in Alaska and folks in Indonesia and folks in Australia and over the years in Sweden and Holland and France and, and I could go on and on. You have to, why can't you? People can't even call me from Europe and there's all this stuff stopping the truth that we took the time to prove. Yeah. And we did. And I, I, I say we because I include you. Um, you've done a phenomenal, excellent job, and I hope you get most of your material back, and I hope it's somewhere in a cloud for you. Because yeah. I was, like, depressed, and, you know, I was, like, sad for you, and then I got hacked again, mm-hmm. did, like, the day after I talked to you. To include our, our any future listening audience, and I'm right. always, you know, um, I've, had, I've done a lot of shows, so we have to tell everybody that, you know, today is April what? 10th? April 10th, 2023. Uh, 2023, and... We've been working on this for 13 years and are being blocked in numerous, numerous ways. I can't even post anything on YouTube, let alone Skype. 
in the world it's happening all over and we don't we don't get that information because it's happening over in china it's happening over in france yeah. last week in europe was really scary they had some really nasty shit going on in in france and, and with the storms and you know multiple roofs being ripped off just like ours over here mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. people really need to you know like pay attention to the damn weather because by god you know if you if you own a house and you care it's like you make Thank God you have a roof next week. I, I told everybody to look out, you know, from, from the 23rd on through the end of, of, of March and what happened. Did anybody even comment? No. And mm-hmm. how many people died? You know, you know, right. I, can't, I can't save everybody, but I try. I'm not wrong. And it's just like, God, people, you you, you got you to see. And, you know, what really kills me is the fleets of ships over the top of Earth right now, and nobody gets it. Nobody says anything. I thought this was going to go viral, what, two years ago? The two main cubes is the the Texas cube uh-huh. and the long box cube. The Texas cube got here in 2015 over Texas from deep space. The support craft parking garage, uh-huh. uh, long box cube got here in 2017. Okay. The space tube has been sighted again for like two weeks, three weeks again. And it, of course, is on the right-hand side of the sun, and it's it's been close orbit, but yet distance in, in the middle right-hand side. I think that's there to pick up the, uh, like, a storage facility that they're going to ship away, like a shipping container. Is there the multiple commodity. space tubes or one? I've only seen, I've only seen one, but mm-hmm. then there could be smaller ones and bigger ones. We've seen smaller orbs. We've seen multiple orbs, but... The Empire Orb, of course, is back, and and it showed up in, um, there were some sightings on Montana Skywatcher where it was hiding in a, uh, a crossover on the right-hand side of, of light in the shadows. Of course, with along with the long box cube and multiple triangular star destroyers, which are, of course, massive compared to anything we own. And right. those are, you know, a dime a dozen, and there are hundreds, if not thousands, of those. What's why I always say fleets, plural, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. there's more than one fleet here. Mm-hmm. And we've seen the offload ever since they came out of hiding. Right. So, you so know, what about all of the smaller cubes? All the support craft. and uh-huh. We've seen, of course, we've seen docking stations for fighter craft. Yeah. And the docking stations are empty. And sometimes the docking stations have three or four in there. And I saw the American Space Wheel here again recently, which I've only seen like three groups of sighting in the last, oh, seven years, which is the American uh, Earth Station, where the Space Force is probably being sent to. But I don't have confirmation of that, and I know that they're probably in line with Nibiru, but I don't know. I know that Russia is probably talking to a faction. I know China is probably talking to a space faction. Um, I know they have a star ring where things fly through, but I don't know about Russia. But, you know, I, I it's, it's hard for me to make suppositions. And I know that the Empire Orb has a different faction than the Anunnaki slash Nibiru so people. And I know the Federation is here, along with other ships that we're seeing new. There's new ships showing up, too, we've never seen before. And I'm gathering those in a file, and once we see enough evidence of that, then I will share what we've learned from them. You know me, I, I try not to talk about things until I get at least three to five sightings. Well, you know how many times I've said, I don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, I, you know, I try not to go there, because, oh, God, the, the shit I could tell you that would turn your hair white tomorrow by what I think, not what mm. by what I know. There's a big difference, although I've learned the hard way a lot of stuff. Because, you know, I have actually met three alien races face-to-face, and they are quite real. You know, there are billions of races out there. There's not just three or four guys in a tiny little craft going by, you know. There's thousands, millions, billions. Wow. And well, the thing that people don't understand is, that, you know, not all universes are the same age. Everybody thinks the Big Bang happened and that was it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Space rocks everywhere. Oh, shit. No, that's our local Big Bang. Mm-hmm. There are universes and, and cosmos and galaxies that are far, far, far older than we can even imagine. And there are races 
that have technology that we could never even touch or fathom. And there are. There are billions of races out there. And, of course, my information comes from off planet. Wow. I am not making suppositions. And you know, this, this is why I started talking, because people came to me and I went, oh, shit, what do I do with this? You know? Yeah. Who do, who do I trust and how do I share this faction that, you know, I have to worry about whether or not I'm being told the truth. And, frankly, to this day, I've never fully trusted anybody, including the U.S. government. Sure. And that's why I walked from them in 1980, and they brought me back to Montana. Were you working with the government when you met the alien races, or was that Um, different? The the first time, no. Um, When I was nine, I had a an approach from um, the faction that is involved with the Empire Orb, and they are a reoccurring faction that's been around to Earth many, many times. Uh, prior to Nibiru coming back, which is the uh, separate Anunnaki faction. Mm-hmm. I was approached by another faction, and I'm not at liberty to share that yet because people are not ready for that information. Because when so, I tried to share it, people people freak out and turn against me. How, yeah. how do I tell people that I'm, you know, I can take away the religion of Earth and I can change physics tomorrow? I can't. I can't just tell people of that, and yet, guess what? Which is what happened to me in 1980 when I got abducted by the U.S. government. And then they asked me, how did I write, write my paper? And then I told them, and then they got mad at me. Huh. Because I broke and ripped out the rug of, from their basic science of everything that they believed with, you know, the equations of Einstein and Newton. And they screamed at me, how dare you think that you're smarter than Einstein and Newton? And I went, I'm sorry, but this fits. And then they got mad at me and spit in my face, and I am not kidding you, they did actually spit in my face. And that is the reason I remember the huge portion of what I'm talking about to this day, because I never forgot that. When I told them, they didn't want to hear it. So how do you, how do you react to people that you're supposed to respect and, and treat reverence with as your elders and... Um, you know, I occasionally post the main guy that ran up to me nose to nose and screamed at me because I, I ruined everything that he believed from physics and, and Einstein and Newton and the 1880 Heisenberg Commission and all that other shit that he understood as physics. And yeah. I was going, excuse me, but gravity is not what you think it is. Because they don't want to hear that. And all of these people are piggybacking all their study and lifetime equations on the back of Einstein equations, and it doesn't work. It never worked for him back then, but they don't see that. That's why, because gravity isn't the right answer. There is no energy pulling us one direction and pulling us the other direction. We are thread-connected atomically in chemistry in our solar system, from planet to star, all the way both stars, and including Imaru holding both stars. We're a compound. We're not gravitational rocks floating around willy-nilly. We're an electrical compound. And that's why Earth is the factory planet, because where we are in the Goldilocks zone, we produce soft metal irons on the periodic chart. Bingo. And, you know, they don't want me to tell you that. All the planets are heating up. And they all tipped in 2011 when the second star came up from underneath us. And meanwhile, they're pointing out Elenin up in the northeast sky. While underneath us in the southwest, below planet Earth, in Antarctica, in comes the next solar system and the asteroid groups, which showed up visible large enough three years later. And it took us a time to even notice the asteroid groups, which fit into the Wormwood Prophecy and the uh, the 18 other different names that it has throughout history and culture, including um, Apophis, Ra versus Apophis. And this is, you know, it comes close. If you've ever seen the, the Gods of Egypt in the movie, Ra versus Apophis. Ra, the, the up in his ship over above us, is stopping the evil asteroid, living asteroid group of death from eating all its people off of planet Earth. And that's exactly what's going with the asteroid group above us every day as it passes by. Because it's not in Earth orbit, it's in rotational gas giant orbit, which is completely separate of ours. But yet, we are passing through them, 
not them through us. It's hard to fathom, but that's how it works. Hmm. And you've seen it. 